Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John here with some few a few tips for your um, Husky 350S. Um, a problem I was having is um, just losing coolant, and it's summer here in Oregon, not that hot here. I mean, it's, we get up to you know in the summer maybe 80, 90 some degrees. So, uh, and I installed this Tusk um, temperature monitor. It's cool because as I'm riding, I can see where I'm running, and I've never even had the motor um above 200 degrees it's usually in the green which is 100 to 150 degrees sometimes it'll go up in the yellow 160 170 180 degrees so um anyway that's a good tool because as you're riding i can glance down and because it's color coded i can see what's going on so i do recommend that but interesting part is um i kept checking my coolant level i'd pull off the cap and um my coolant level was down it was down often so i kept adding coolant and i'd see it boil out as i was riding Mainly, you know, I'd hit some trails and, uh, you know, the motor gets a little bit warmer. Um, long story short, I was topping off coolant every ride. I'd pull this off and you'd look in there. It has to be cold, you know, of course it be, has to be cold, um, you know, before a ride. And I would have, stick my finger in there and or, or look in there with a light and I could see the tops of the fins in the radiator and they weren't covered with fluid. And I was doing that almost every ride. So it kind of surprised me. Um, I'm just going to put that on loosely for now. So I was like, started to do a little research. Now, this comes with a charcoal canister in here for your emissions. So a couple weeks ago, I took off the emission system. Takamoto makes a great kit for, you can just block this off with plugs on this side and the other side. Um, but I decided to remove um, all the hoses and stuff for the emissions. And so you, all you need there is the Takamoto. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Emissions block off kit. And then I removed the, um, I got a video on this. I just need to put it together. Uh, so be watching for that. So, and then you have a dongle that goes in this little emissions valve. And I, you know, put the dongle in it and you tuck that back up in there. Um, so that's, that's very easy to do. Well, what you do is you get this little kit uh, from KTM and it, it takes your charcoal canister, which is, um, right here, you take your charcoal canister out and the new one, and I can get you the part number here. This is the part number on the, on the new one. Um, there's kind of that. There it is there. Seven, nine, six, three, five, nine, six, five, zero, four, four. Um, it says it's a KTM part and it's a coolant reservoir is what they call it. Um, so anyway, and it comes with clamps and a few of these guys, these are off the old system, but the funny part is the new ones look exactly the same because they're the same part. It's the same part, exactly, canister minus the charcoal inside. Um, at first I was going to just plug into this and I realized, oh no, you can't do that. This is full of charcoal for the, you know, fuel evap system. Um, so anyway, you cannot use that. Um, but what you do is this this goes into the bike at the bottom part of, of your bike, kind of facing forward towards the motor. And then these little things are in each um, part of your frame. And this is kind of what helps hold it in there. So you remove these little guys, just I think it was a 10, 8 or 10 millimeter. And you screw this out, you screw this out. And you screw this out, and then this charcoal canister um, literally drops out from in here. And there's a little piece of foil that just pulls out. It's just stuck on there with the sticky adhesive. You can reuse that on the new one. Um, you just have to take your header off, take off this spring, this spring, this spring, and this header tube pulls straight out. And then I did have to take off my two bolts for my skid plate, just right here and, and the other one. And then this pulls forward enough to where... That canister drops down and out, and then you just put the new one back up in there. Now, here's the cool part. This might be one of my favorite upgrades, because then it comes with tubing, and you take your tubing from this right side, you screw in the little, same little nipple. Go easy, because there's an O-ring, and it's just, you know, threading into plastic, so go easy when you tighten these in. You screw that in there, put a tube on, and I just came up and over the radiator and brought that down here so it can... Um, you know, uh, overflow once your canister is full. You could do that a different way. You could plug it into the factory one up in there. 
kind of goes into a factory thing that let it spews down the side of your frame. And then you just take, go from um, your overflow on your radiator. You can see this tube here, and then that just runs down along behind the radiator, and then it goes into, um, into here. So now what happens is when this overflows, it's going to conserve the radiator fluid. It's going to, you know, go into that reservoir that's up in your frame, fill that. And then, and I, I did do a factory, uh, I filled that before I was done, um, the reservoir so that it has pre-filled. If you didn't do that, you just have to still fill this for a couple rides till you got your reservoir filled. But, um, so now it'll go into that and then has a place to go. And then when it cools back down, it'll suck back up in, into your, your radiator. So you won't be having to top off, um, every time or close to it for me. So that's a good upgrade. That was easy. I, I didn't know what I was doing. So it, it, I didn't do a video while I was doing it because it would have been too, um, it just probably wouldn't have been the best quality, but, um, then there's a plug that comes, um, and that goes into this side. So um, and it looks just like these barbs, except it's a it's a plug, because you need your coolant goes in through the bottom to fill this reservoir, and then if it gets too full, it'll come out this and then go out. Um, you know, so it goes in here to fill, and then it can still come out here if it needs to. Um, so and then the plug is just because you don't need. There's no purpose for this, you know, last hole. Um, and then that plug, as I said, plug goes here. Okay, that's what took me a little bit. Um, I'm sure there's instructions out there somewhere, but I just went ahead and kind of thought about it a little bit. So plug goes here. Again, you're throwing it in the plastic. It has an O-ring. Don't go crazy with torquing that down. And then your overflow um, goes here. Okay, and you can take that anywhere you want. And then this off your radiator goes here and um, down into to this guy here. So now, no more topping off coolant. I mean, we all know for a four stroke motor that has coolant, uh, man, you do not want to run those things out of coolant. And they never overheated or anything, so I didn't damage my motor, but um, anyway, great mod. Um, when you take off your emissions, you're gonna need like a little uh, free flow tube. Takamoto sells those. Um, I had my bike stalling when I had emissions on it, mainly because one time I dumped the bike over and this filled with fuel and the canister filled with fuel and then I couldn't get, it wasn't getting air to replace the used gas and I was stalling out. Thought I had all these problems and it was just, it was just my emission system, you know, was filled, canister was filled full of fuel because I dumped the bike over. So I have not flamed out since I, I put that on. So that's a good little tip. Um, so anyway, hope this helps. Um, that was a problem I was having and uh, couldn't find really much about it. There, there was a thread on Thumper talk that helped me out a lot where a guy had some pictures of, of just how this went because I wasn't sure of the, how to hook it up. I had an idea, but um, that was nice to see somebody else that had done it. So you have to get that KTM part. Well worth it. The IMS one I almost thought about, but it was going to be a lot more complicated for this situation because this was plug and play. Um, IMS looks like it's a great system, but it was going to be a little more in depth to make that all work. And this comes, the 350S comes with the charcoal canister in here. So it's just a matter of really, you know, slipping it up in there, which was easy. I mean, I think if I did this again, I think I could have it done. And, um, I bet you I could have this done in, uh, an hour or less. Um, I just didn't know exactly what I was doing at first. So that's why I waited to do the video until I was done. Um, hope this helps. Um, you guys have some other ideas to make this go better. But again, I do recommend this. I do like write, when I'm writing, I can look down and kind of monitor my temps, engine temps. If something were to spike up into the red, it would be, um, let me know that something something was going on. But anyway, just a few tips. Hope you're all having a great day. Get out there and ride. And um, like and subscribe if this is helpful. We'll have some other 350 um, tips coming. Um, thanks for watching. Right safe. I'm sorry to keep adding to this video, but um, I did not have to add, to remove any plastics or anything. It might have been easier if I had done that, but I didn't remove my tank. I didn't remove any plastics. Um, I just used the needle nose pliers to kind of get in here 
sprayed some rubbing alcohol on this nipple down here in the hose to make it slip easier. Um, did the same thing here, needle nose and rubbing alcohol to make it slip on that. So I didn't remove anything other than the two bolts on the front of my, my skid plate so that I could um, pull that forward to get the canister in and out of this, of this tube. So pretty cool. I like upgrades that are easy and are, are super functional, um, but you will need the... Actually, you won't need the block off kit other than the dongle for this guy over here because you're removing the um, the emissions. So you won't need the Takamoto. Um, I don't think you'll need the block off kit, you, but you will need that dongle for that that valve that was here. You will need that. Oh wait, you will need that because you're gonna remove the barb. When you remove your emissions, you'll have to put a a plastic um, plug on this on your intake there's a, a a plastic plug on there it also comes with a screw you can put in there but i went with the plastic plug for right now so you do need that that takamoto block off kit mainly or you could just go down and get the appropriate size rubber for that if it's fairly heat resistant um so anyway good luck hope that helps um very very easy upgrade and i think that it's going to be good to have that so that um you know, it doesn't cause overheating issues. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.